Hi, today I'm reviewing the Incredible You Glow Girl Iridescent Jelly. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So this is a new product from Inkcredible, and if you're not too familiar with Inkcredible, it's kind of an offshoot of Nails Ink. Uh, they make a lot of nail polish and manicure products, and they've started out making some lipsticks, and now they've got this iridescent jelly gloss. And this is the full-size container. It sells for $12, so it's not incredibly expensive, which is nice. Um, and it comes simply packaged. So let me start with my criteria, and I'll let you guys know what I think. So uh, my first criteria is packaging, which uh, is in a jar, so I dinged it for that. However, it's not a super concern because there's not really any antioxidants in this product that need to be protected. Uh, but I'm still not a huge fan of the jar packaging. As you can tell, I tried to leave a little bit of it shut or had the uh, foil over it to kind of protect as much of it is. Uh, the bigger concern with the jar packaging for this is just the product drying out. Uh, since it's kind of a jelly, it can dry out a little bit faster than other products typically can, but I haven't had a concern or an issue with that yet. So um, would be better packaged in a tube and probably easier to use as well. But uh, anyway, it's not a super concern like it normally would be. Uh, the second criteria is alcohol, and there's no issues here with that. Uh, the third criteria is fragrance. Also, there's no issues with that. There's no scent to this at all. Um, the fourth is my manufacturing location, and this is manufactured in Taiwan, so there's no real issues there. Um, the fifth criteria is ease of use, and uh, I didn't find this to be the easiest to use. Um, it's a little bit of a jelly, and it's got a little bit of a thicker consistency to it, um, but I've used it on my lips and eyes, and it performed okay. It was okay enough to use, but if you're going to use other eyeshadows with this, that's where it can get a little iffy because it doesn't technically really dry down too much. So if you're going to use this, I would recommend using it in place of like an eyeshadow or in place of a lipstick or possibly on top of a matte lipstick. Uh, that's going to be the easiest to use. Um, I, trying to use this on my cheeks was... Not the easiest, it was kind of messy, and it just wasn't super intuitive. Uh, so ease of use is not, it's not the easiest to use. And probably if it came in a tube packaging, it would be easier to use, or you could just dab it on with a sponge. Um, so my uh, fifth criteria is antioxidants or pigmentation, and I gave this a thumb up. Uh, there's This is definitely pretty pigmented overall. Uh, on my lips, I actually applied a couple layers, but it definitely is iridescent. And they did a very good job with this. This product is actually everything I want in that uh, Butter London, uh, I think it's a glaze and face gloss that they made. This product is everything I wanted that to be. Uh, they delivered on, on that. It's The pigmentation is definitely there. It's very iridescent. If you can tell from some angles, you can't see that it's on at all. But then when you move it a little bit, you can definitely see the... Uh, iridescent and kind of the purple look to it so it's very beautiful there so very pigmented um, animal testing I gave it a thumb up there uh, from reading what I saw on Sephora that incredible is cruelty free and nails ink is cruelty free so but I just saw that on Sephora so I didn't see anything else from the manufacturer about that but their nail polishes were always cruelty free so uh, hopefully this is as well and the information on Sephora is correct it's not always correct so if you know anything else let me know um, performance this performs pretty well on your lips it lasts a couple hours before it dries down too much and on your eyes it stays I used an eyeshadow primer and this stayed all day and there wasn't any flaking or any issues like that so it wore very well um, so the performance isn't an issue at all definitely a good deal um, price number nine that is twelve dollars so that's a bargain in my opinion for a good brand that's cruelty free from a company like Sephora this is priced pretty well so and I like the fact that you can use it on your eyes your cheeks your lips although using it on my cheeks I wasn't super successful with that but the lips and the, the eyes were very easy so very beautiful I'm kind of wondering if they'll release they've got two colors out now um, this is cosmic blur so 
The other one was a little more peach toned, so I'm kind of interested to see if they branch out and make a few more colors than just those two. Um, and then the It Factor, I gave it a thumb up there. This has an It Factor for me. Anything iridescent or holographic can almost guarantee that I'll purchase it, especially if it's makeup or nail polish. Uh, so I gave it a, a thumb up there. So overall, this got an 8 out of 10, which is two thumbs up. So if you like some fun different looks or looking for some iridescent cheeks or some fun lip or eye looks, uh, this is worth checking out. And I like the fact that you can use this for many different things. And I could see how if you were very successful applying this on your cheeks, how you could apply that over uh, some highlighters or under and make a fun look. So uh, very beautiful and worth checking out if you're uh, shopping for some fun uh, iridescent glow factor. So um, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not. And if so, what your thoughts were and how you liked it. So it's a little messy, but uh, it, it cleans up pretty well. That's the other thing I should have mentioned. Uh, if you're removing this, I recommend an oil-based uh, cleanser. Makes it a little easier to remove, but uh, very beautiful product. So anyway, leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least one new review every day. And check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, this is Sarah from No BS Beauty, and I'm proud to offer you one of my first products. And it is a stainless steel makeup palette. And I've been using ones like these for quite a while, and it makes it a lot easier to mix kind of custom foundation shades, custom serums, uh, custom lip colors. Um, it just, you need something like this in your uh, makeup routine to make things a lot easier. And uh, all the profits from it will go to help the channel, which I'm independent and I purchase all the products with my own money. Um, so definitely all of the profits will go so I can continue to bring you good reviews. Um, but, you know, things I like to use are retinol. Retinol is definitely a good thing to use, um, but sometimes some of them can be a little too strong. So sometimes I like to mix them with other serums. So I'll use this to kind of custom make my uh, retinol at night. So it's a little bit less irritating when you mix it in with something else. Or another thing you can do is mix in a vitamin C. Uh, some of these can be a little oily or greasy. So sometimes it's nice to be able to mix it in with another uh, serum. So I like to use the Clinique one and I'll mix this in just a little bit because otherwise sometimes it can be a little too oily and I'll mix it in and in the morning I'll apply it all over my face before sunscreen. Um, and another good vitamin C serum I like is the Derma Doctor one, but um, sometimes using the dropper with that can be a little messy. So sometimes I just like to mix just a little bit in with another serum. I love the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Serum, definitely a holy grail of mine. And I like to mix that in with it as well. Or sometimes before I go to bed, uh, if I've got something else going on the next day, I like to mix in a little bit of tanner, self-tanner. But sometimes if you use, use it alone, it can get a little too orange or a little too dark. So sometimes mixing that in with another serum makes it um, definitely a lot better and a lot more moisturizing for your skin as well. So um, definitely something that you can use in your uh, serums or your kind of custom make your own uh, skincare routine by using that and mixing up all these products. So uh, definitely something worth considering there. And I also like to use it to mix in some of my custom foundations. So uh, let me show you that too. Uh, another thing I've been using this palette for is mixing and kind of customizing my own foundation. Uh, kind of you can almost create a specific color if you have certain foundations that don't mesh well with your uh, skin tone or even your skin texture. You can almost create your own custom foundation. Um, one foundation I love is the Bare Minim Minerals Bare Pro. Uh, however, sometimes I can find it to be a little too drying and almost kind of giving you more of a matte finish. So sometimes I'll mix in a little bit of the Josie Mara and Argan Moonstone drops with it uh, and then use it. And it kind of helps kind of lessen the color and kind of give it a little bit more of a glowy look. Um, another thing I like to use is mixing in sometimes with uh, oil with a foundation. And sometimes it gives you more of a uh, dewy look. So sometimes I'll mix that in with the Dr. Jart. 
and it helps give you a little bit more of a glow to it. So sometimes mix in just a little bit in um, and you definitely want to be careful with what you're mixing just to make sure that the ingredients are compatible because certain types of foundations don't work well with certain types of other ingredients but uh, something to consider definitely but you can almost create your own custom look I love this um, but sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of a glow to it so I'll mix in some of my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator with it um, so you can definitely do that. Uh, also, Cover Effects makes a great, uh, they're custom cover drops, but you can use these to alter the color of any foundation. So this is great to mix that with. Um, just give it a couple drops there. And then mix that in with another foundation to make it either lighter or darker. Um, the Ordinary Serum Foundation is great, but... I found it difficult to get the exact color, so sometimes mixing the other colors works well. Um, Cover Effects also has these new glitter drops, so sometimes it's nice to be able to use this to mix in with either a foundation or just to put it on this, and then you can use a, a brush to either dip it in and apply it as eyeshadow or dip it in and apply it on to lips as kind of a lipstick cover. So. There's definitely some great options and uh, definitely love some of Cover FX's custom enhancer drops, but you can use this to mix it in with almost any different type of foundation and add a little bit of color here and there. Um, but definitely using this, and if you use a sponge or a beauty blender, you can get that damp and then just use this to dip it in and apply it. It makes it a heck of a lot easier than, uh, than trying to do it in your hand or I don't know where else you would even maybe the lid of another product but this definitely makes all of that a heck of a lot easier so it's definitely something worth picking up and all of the profits from the sales of this palette will go to support my independent reviews uh, I purchase all the products with myself just so I can give you an honest opinion as opposed to somebody that gets the products for free to review um, I personally like to purchase them so I can give you my completely objective review without having to feel like I owe a company anything because they gave me something free. So um, all the profits will go to help support those reviews.